Hello there exile. Today I want to bring you up to speed on what I've done until now. I've completed five of the challenges just by playing the game and didn't even focus on completing them. It just happened. Atlas wise I'm a 14 out of 15. I got my two stones from the Eater of Worlds and the uh, Exarch. I'm only missing Mao Kun to complete the Atlas and uh, some invitations. I'm still looking for that elusive Elder Helmet to craft. I have. Uh, Farmed the essences I think I need to get conk with L damage or uh, burning damage with L damage, more L damage. I uh, managed to make the chains that bind set for a six link and got this. I also got uh, this from Heist, but I'll be using. Uh, the destroyed regalia. I've uh, I crafted the scepter by uh, recombining these ones. The item level four harvest spammed fire more likely until you get the damage over time multi and the fire damage together with mainly damage over time multiplier. Hoping for the best. I got somewhat lucky. I got the Void Scepter base. Plus one. Damage of, fire damage over time. And uh, I don't know how I got the last tier of damage over time multiplier. But it's far better than the item level 4 I had. I also managed to make this ring. The damage over time multiplier with the Lerium Essence. Some useful res and uh, room to craft a life as a prefix. And uh, the amulet, I lucked into it because I was uh, spamming Reforge Fire. And uh, somehow I got the T4 damage over time multiplier. But I've been uh, keeping the bases with damage over time multiplier as a stat and the plus one fire as a stat when uh, spam re-rolling in harvest so I could uh, recombine them in order to get something similar. I finally automated my flasks. It feels much better pressing only the quicksilver flask when I need it. I uh, managed to complete the progression on the sentinel controller. It feels way better now that uh, I have full uh, three and uh, from my experience I feel that uh, going for a single sentinel feels much better because if you split between two you can't get all the benefits and uh, usually if you spam them you go into a map start your sentinel and then uh, Kill the mobs and you're out most of the time. So if you do that, why bother doing two or three sentinels at a time? It's far less efficient and you don't waste good potential sentinels by not having all the buffs. Level wise, I'm 93. Sadly, I uh, corrupted my righteous fire and... Uh, Flame trap, I didn't get plus one on either. I had a couple of more, but neither those got plus one. This is my defense tab, close to 25k armor, 79 cold and lightning, 81 uh, fire, 30 chaos res, and uh, damage wise, I'm at. 360k fire trap damage and uh, 
360k righteous fire damage. I use uh, scorching ray to debuff the mobs. I'm working on getting an uh, warlord the ring so I could uh, curse on hit stuff. This is how my atlas ended up looking like in an SSF scenario. I went for expedition, some uh, June. Strong boxes are really nice, especially duplicating uh, divination cards because this way you get far quicker to a set gambling in harvest because cards, if you don't make a set, are practically useless. So risking them in harvest is the best way to go. Harvest, strong boxes, shrines, and the heist. I did a couple of grand heists for uh, replica soul tether, but I uh, didn't see it, sadly. And uh, I'll keep farming for uh, the essences and the elder guardians in order to get the elder helm. Hopefully, we're gonna get it soon. So I can move my fire trap in the body and use my RF in the helm or vice versa. I want to thank all of you that made it to the end and I hope Chris blesses you with all the luck he can.